Welcome to another episode of Simple Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make homemade pizza rolls. And for my pizza rolls, I'm just going to use the roll white dinner rolls. You need one roll to make each little pizza roll. So however many you want to thaw out. And for a quick method to thaw out is I spray my baking dish and put them in it. And then turn my, put them in my oven and turn the oven light on. Do not turn the oven on. You're just putting, turning the oven light on. And it's going to help them thaw out and rise a little bit. You want these thawed out completely. They work better if they're warm and thawed out than thawed out and still a little bit cold. We found that out. So you can roll these out with a rolling pin. What I'm doing is I'm using my little tortilla press and I have just got some of the non-stick aluminum foil down so I don't have to, you know, wipe my tortilla press. And it also helps for the rolls not stick. And you can use plastic wrap, whatever you want to. Or you can roll them out by hand with your little rolling pin. We're just going to smash them. And this put, spreads them out evenly. And then we're making some with pepperoni, mozzarella, and olive. So you put a little pinch of mozzarella cheese down, some of your olives. You can use whatever top pizza toppings you would like. Two pieces of pepperoni. And then you just fold in all your goodies. And then you're going to pinch the bottom and seal it up so the stuff won't leak out. You put them back in your greased baking dish. The other ones I'm making is ham and cheese. So you do the same way as the pepperoni ones. Except for this gets cheddar cheese, green olives, and some slices of some just deli style ham lunch meat. You just do the same thing. The stuff starts coming out on you. Just push it back in with your thumb and pull up all your dough edges. And then you just seal and pinch. So I've got two rolls of the pepperoni, two rolls of the ham. And now, before I put them back in the oven, with just the oven light on for them to rise again, I'm going to brush them with some melted butter with some garlic powder. And some Italian seasonings, and then I'm gonna brush them and then pop them in the oven, let them rise with just the oven light on. And then, before I turn the oven on to preheat, I'll take them out and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And you're gonna bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes, might be a little bit more. You just wanna make sure the everything else is just gonna melt and warm up. But you want to make sure your um, rolls are not doughy. They need to be done. But before I finish putting them in the oven, after they rose, and I've brushed them with their garlic butter and the with the Italian seasoning, I'm going to sprinkle up what little grated Parmesan cheese on top. You can use a little bit of mozzarella, whatever cheese you like, or just leave them plain. And we're going to bake them. And then we're going to serve them with marinara sauce, pizza sauce, or spaghetti sauce. And you don't have to do meat ones. You can do saute up some veggies and do some veggies and cheese. Whatever the way you like your pizza rolls, you do. You can just stuff them with just different kinds of cheese. It's all up to you. All right, they've poofed up and risen. Now remember, I already brushed them with the... Uh, Melted butter with garlic powder and Italian seasonings. Sprinkled on the little Parmesan one I had left. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to put these in the oven. For about uh, between 20-25, uh, it might go a little bit longer. You just want to make sure they're not doughy. Alright, the pizza rolls are out. And... You can see I got some gaps here, and I put some down here to make sure it's not doughy. And if it was, I put it back in for another two to five minutes. 
but this is all cheese if you see it even. So I just have it here with some marinara sauce for dipping and I'm gonna actually tear this open so you can see all the good all the stuff inside. Seal seal it ooey cheese. It's popping hot. Seal belt. Give me this. And then here is Oh boy, that sucker's hot. Man. Jeez. So it's extra cheesy. See, the cheese is pulling. And there you have it. You can serve about two of these with a nice side salad. And you've got a good, yummy, and wonderful dinner. And you don't have to use the dinner rolls for these. You can take a piece of dough and take a little portion off, roll it into a ball, Push it out like you do and fill it or you can use canned biscuits the big ones 